This week on Windows. Minecraft Education Edition launches to the delight of students everywhere. We reveal a device trade up offer that could get you a Surface Pro or Surface Book faster than you think. And is that a sausage party I see? You bet it is. You're watching This Week on Windows. Greetings, I'm Chitanya and welcome to This Week on Windows. And I am Kate. Now, last week was a big one for us with the announcement of new devices like Surface Studio and Surface Dial, as well as the new Windows 10 Creators update coming in early 2017. Well, this week, we're talking even more device news with some sweet new deals. Check this out. Starting up with a trade up offer. For a limited time, anyone in the US can trade in their MacBook Pro or MacBook Air at a Microsoft store or online for up to $650 off a Surface Book or Surface Pro. For more details, check out Microsoft.com slash Surface. And if last week's announcement inspired you to get in on the Surface Party, including the new Surface Studio, designed to turn your desktop into a versatile workspace complete with on-screen touch, then this could be the time to upgrade. Check out Microsoft.com or your nearest Microsoft store to pre-order one of these stellar new devices. This week, students have one more reason to be excited to get to class. The Minecraft Education Edition is available now in 11 languages and 50 countries around the world. So this full version of Minecraft Education Edition includes the Classroom Mode Companion app, enabling educators to manage world settings, communicate with students, give items, and teleport students throughout the Minecraft world. Now to learn more about this incredible teaching tool, head to education.minecraft.net. This week, the Windows Store is all about connecting you with your favorite friends and one delicious film. Calling all Facebook Messenger users, check out the Windows 10 app today for an update you just gotta see. Literally. Now with the Facebook Messenger app for Windows 10, you can make voice and video calls. Enter any one-on-one -on -one thread with a friend and select either the phone or camera icon to make a voice or video call. Or enter any group thread and select that same phone icon to start a group call. Then it's over to the grocery store for a film unlike any other. Welcome, shoppers. Ketchup, mustard, oh, sausages and buns. I can't be. When one lone sausage learns the awful truth about what happens when food leaves the grocery store, he must warn his fellow perishable food friends about the grim truth of their existence. Everything we believe is a lie. Sausage Party is available now one week before Blu-ray in the movies and TV section of the window store. Yummy. Now they say there are only two things that you don't want to see how they're made. Laws and sausages. And since we've covered sausages, it's time to talk about the election. Specifically, the election collection available now in the Windows Store just in time for election day. And now let's take a sharp turn. Make that many sharp turns and some pretty sweet cars. Forza Horizon 3 fans, listen up. The Alpine Stars car pack is available now, bringing seven new cars to the highest rated Forza Horizon 3 racing world, including the 2016 Dodge Viper and the M4 GTS. Plus, if you look closely, you might just see where Forza Horizon 3 is headed. Keep your eyes peeled and your park is zipped for the expansion coming later this year. Check out more about this stellar title in the Windows Store. And remember, because Forza Horizon 3 is an Xbox Play Anywhere title, when you buy it in the Windows Store, you also have it on your Xbox One, which means your saved games travel with you no matter what device you're playing on. And you can play Forza Horizon 3 with your friends on your Windows 10 PC while they're on their Xbox One and vice versa. Did you know that you can sign into Windows 10 devices quickly and securely using biometrics? It's called Windows Hello, and it recognizes your face or your fingerprint to instantly unlock your device without a password. To get started, check to see if your device works with Windows Hello. Go to Windows Settings, or type the Windows key plus I, then select Sign in Options, then Windows Hello. Now, here's how to set up Windows Hello. Open the Settings menu, go to Accounts, then sign in options, then set up, and finally get started. From there, it will prompt you to set up a PIN, a great backup plan for logging into your device, and you can set up facial recognition. For fingerprint recognition, touch or swipe your finger on the sensor, and remember, you can always improve the facial recognition and add or remove additional fingerprints 
at any time in the same place. Finally, if you share your PC, here's how to add multiple profiles. First, open settings, go to accounts, then other people. Select add someone else to this PC and type in their Microsoft account email address. After you sign out and the other person signs in, they'll be prompted to set up a new profile, including Windows Hello. Thanks, Shatanya. And don't forget, if your Windows 10 device doesn't have a sensor that currently supports Windows Hello, don't worry. You can find these biometric devices online at Microsoft.com or at your nearest Microsoft store. So that'll do it for us this week. But remember to keep it right here each and every week. I'm Chitanya. And I'm Kate. And thanks for watching This Week on Windows. <laughs>